it's a contribution that we have to make. We live in town, we have to clean it up. Nice day for a paddle. We have some trash. There's really two factors at play when it comes to litter and trash in our waterways. On the one hand, you have the water quality issue. As different materials and items dissolve, it depletes oxygen in the water, which is necessary for fish and other aquatic wildlife. And ultimately, if there's enough litter depleting oxygen as it decomposes, uh, it can kill aquatic life. Fish and the birds will think that the trash is food and will try to eat it and then they'll block up their system and they'll end up dying that way. On the other hand, it's a real eyesore. Nobody wants to live in a community that is covered in trash and is just not pleasant to be around. So we try to address both of those factors. All of our bayou systems are all interconnected. They end up in the Galveston Bay area. So eventually it can take form and lead out to the Galveston waters and go into the ocean. And since we have so much plastic, specifically now, it's petroleum-based, so it can break down and cause some major damage to the organisms. You wash your car, you use too many suds. Uh, it's going to wash down your driveway and into one of the gutters. That water is going to be treated, but if there are any clogs, if there are any issues, any of the water leaks out, now you have a chemical that is seeping into the ground, that can impact water quality. The same for fertilizer. You just like it burns up your grass, it can be a real problem um, for aquatic life. It increases the nitrogen levels in the water, and nitrogen levels um, cause algae blooms, which decrease the amount of oxygen in the water, and fish need oxygen to survive. We need to take some ownership of what's going on in our waterways because it is basically for our future generations. It starts at home, uh, making conscious decisions, um, recycling, having a recycling bin. Hopefully uh, multiple, your city provides you with one. If they don't, then you can create one at your house. Um, it's a great lesson for younger kids to understand that they are impacting their water. Also, if you have uh, trash in your car, you may be tempted to roll down the window and throw it out. Don't do that. Keep a litter bag in your car, stow it, pitch it. If you're interested in coming out to a community event to uh, make a difference in the local waterways, we offer an event called Trash Bash. Originally started through one of the regulatory agencies here in the state of Texas, the TCEQ, and the Houston Galveston Area Council coming together, what can we do to deal with the solid waste aspects of um, our river, lakes, bays, and bayous? So get that trash out of there. It's morphed into something broader now, talking about water quality. Originally started with um, three sites and, and a, a small group of people has expanded to 16 sites, more than 5,000 volunteers every year. So it's really become something big and it's a great event for family. There's no age restriction as long as anybody under 18 has a parent or guardian there uh, to sign for them to make certain everything is okay. Fun, food, lots of music, and just a lot of enthusiasm. And we love having families come out. It allows the students to be able to see really how much trash they end up putting into the waterway by picking it up. Every body of water in the state of Texas, these rivers, these lakes, they're connected by tributaries. They're connected to the coast. So we need to be really aware of our actions. Don't throw cigarette butts out the window. Don't throw plastic bags out of the window. It's small things that can make a big difference.